Why did Stephen Hawking walk away from the very idea he helped popularize, the Big Bang Singularity? Let's break it down. In the early days, Hawking and Roger Penrose worked together to prove that the universe began from a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature. It was the ultimate beginning, but later Hawking changed his mind. Why? Because the singularity breaks everything we know about physics. At the singularity, Einstein's general relativity collapses. Quantum mechanics offered no help either. It's a total breakdown. No equations, no predictions, no physical laws. You can't use it to say what comes next or even what came before. So Hawking proposed something called the no boundary beginning. In this model, the universe still has a beginning, but not a sharp edge, not a boundary that demands something comes before it. As you trace time backward toward the Big Bang, time itself gradually fades and transforms into another spatial dimension. At the very beginning, time Time simply does not exist. No time, no before. So the question what came before the universe becomes meaningless, according to Hawking. The universe, in his view, creates itself from within through quantum probabilities without needing anything outside of it. Hawking's goal? To replace the singularity where physics breaks down with a universe that exists in all possible states. Only when it was observed did one universe become real which is ours. Hawking proposes that the universe began as a quantum event where quantum mechanics laws still hold. But here's the big question. Even if there is no time before Big Bang and actually before has no meaning here, does that mean we do not need to find the cause of the Big Bang, even a time-independent cause? Saying that the universe existed in a state of quantum fluctuations where no time exists still means that the universe needed a space, no matter how small for those fluctuations to occur. So the question just moves back a step. Where did this space come from? We will explore that next. For more, check out Atheism Delusion Book by Ahmed Al-Hassan.